Hey, thanks for checking out the video. This is going to be a comparison between four different Olights, all in the AAA category size-wise. Um, what we're going to be doing is putting 10440 lithium rechargeable cells in each of these lights and comparing output. This video idea is brought to you by uh, subscriber Tim Mumba. He asked the question, what is brighter, the i3T2 or the i3E using a 10440 lithium rechargeable cell? So we're going to be answering that question in this video. And then just for kicks, I'm going to add in the original Olight i3T right here. Um, this is an old version, which is why it's grown a beard, as you can see. I didn't know they did that, but um, yeah, apparently they do. So this is a really old i3T, um, and this is a newer i3T. So both of these are i3Ts. Now, um, they do behave a little bit differently when using 10440s, believe it or not. And if you're interested in that, I've got a couple videos that I'll um, link in the description if you want to check that out. But um, you'll also see that in this video in terms of output. But yeah, we got the two i3Ts over here, the i3E keychain flashlight and the i3T2. We're going to be um, dropping these 10440s in all these lights, taking them outside, comparing the beam shots, just basically on the high modes with the i3T and series like the i3T2 and i3Ts. They'll be on their high mode compared with the single mode of the i3E. We'll see who comes out on top and, um, you know, kind of where they all stack up against each other. So if that sounds good, stick around. Please do hit the like button if uh, you find this interesting and enjoy the video. Um, but before we get started, I just got to make it known that, officially speaking, the only flashlight that you see before you that can use a 10-440 is the i3T2. Um, you know, according to Olight, it is okay to use a 10-440 and Olight i3T2. These other ones are not, it's not officially recommended. Um, now, people do it because the output boost, but it's not officially recommended, and that's mainly because of the heat that's generated. Um, there's excess heat generated when using a battery of this high voltage. Um, so I just want to put that out there that, you know, you do it at your own risk if you use a 10440 and these other type of lights over here. I'll tell you I personally do it myself, um, but you got to be aware that excess heat's generated. But with that said, um, let's get outside and let's see which one of these is brightest and how they all stack up with one another. All right, bear with me because we're going to be shuffling around lights quite a bit. Um, we've got the old i3T here with the beard, growing a bit old. Um, and then on the right is the newer i3Ts. Both of these are going to be on their high setting, and I wanted to show a comparison, a brightness comparison. Maybe you can tell the older versions are slightly brighter than the newer versions with the 10440. I'll switch the sides now. You can see um, they must have added like a, some kind of regulation to the newer ones, which is nice because you get better run times and less heat is generated. But um, in terms of brightness, the oldest i3Ts on the market are still the best in terms of brightness. Uh, next thing we're going to look at, we've got the i3T2 on the right here and the newer i3T on the left. Both of these are going to be on their height settings as well. With 10440s, we're going to compare the output. I don't really see a difference, to be honest with you. Let me make sure. You know what? The i3T, even the newer models, might be slightly brighter than the i3, i3T2, um, based on what I'm seeing. So that's very interesting. I'm going to switch their batteries real quick because I'm not sure I believe that, to be honest. Okay, trying again. Yeah, to me, even with the swapped battery, the i3T is brighter than the i3T2 with 10440s. So um, they must have regulated the i3T2 even more to, you know, once again, achieve greater runtime and keep the heat down. But if brightness is what you're after, it looks like the i3Ts do a little bit better. Now, the 10440s are not officially recommended in i3Ts, of course. Um, next, let's compare the i3T2 with the i3E keychain flashlight. So i3T2 is going to be on the right, and then 
i3e keychain flashlight with 10440 on the left. I think the i3e's taken it. Um, let's let me just tilt this up a bit. Hit that tree and just see. So we got the i3e on the right now. There it is at that tree. Now we've got the i3t2. Yeah, um, i3e. With 10440 is brighter than the i3t2 with 10440. Now, um, one thing I'm going to say about this, and I've got I've got other videos about heat management on these flashlights with 10440s. These little suckers can get pretty hot if left on with a fully charged 10440. Um, so it's not something you might want to have, you know, touching your bare skin at a certain point. So that's just something to point out. It's a bit chilly out here tonight, so I'm not running into that as of yet, but. Decided to add that, you know, obviously the only flashlight in this video that's recommended for use with 10440s is the i3T2 officially. But yeah, there's a look at the output. So the i3E is, you know, maybe underestimated by some, but it is kicking out a lot of light. So here we are with the i3T, the newer versions I call them, and then the i3E on the right. That's comparable, definitely. Switch them. Check out that tree again. With this one. I'd say that's pretty comparable. Tree. Camera kind of auto adjusts, which makes it tough. The beam profile is not identical either. So the i3E might appear brighter just because that beam is a little more focused, perhaps. Hard to say, but definitely interesting stuff. And then let's compare it with the OG, the original i3T, the older kind. And I think the old man still got it. He's still gonna take the cake. Yeah. There's just something about this combo over here. It is. It is the brightest i3T on that tree above the fence. And then here's i3E, tree above the fence. Once again, uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to give this one of the original i3T in terms of brightness. But there's trade-offs and pros and cons with everything in terms of heat and runtime and so on and so forth. So what works for you is gonna vary based on your needs and your priorities. But I hope this gave you a good look at it. Wow, so interesting stuff. Um, the one thing that did not surprise me was that the original i3T was going to be the brightest. Um, just kind of seen that before. Um, I was kind of expecting the i3T2 to behave very similarly to the i3T, um, the newer versions. Um, but um, a little interesting um, to learn that it wasn't quite as bright, but that also makes sense because Olight officially kind of condones it in the i3T2. So the heat threshold, output thresholds dropped just a little bit more with this. So I guess that makes sense as well. Um, and then <laughs> don't don't sleep on the i3E, I guess is what I learned. This thing packs a punch. Tiny little light and half the price roughly as these other ones. But man, and also a lot smaller too when you think about it. So pound for pound. And uh, dollar for dollar, there's a case to be made that this thing is a, uh, you know, little beast. So, um, yeah, I, I'm pretty shocked. I mean, having this amount of output in this small size on your keys or just anywhere you may have it on a zipper or what, what have you, pretty interesting proposition for sure. Um, not officially recommended, of course, to use the 10440s in these lights. These uh, 10440s in the video, by the way, if you're not familiar with these ones, these are from PK Cell. And I find these to be my go-to 10440s just because they're affordable, um, they're on Amazon, and I think um, the performance and capacity is pretty good for what you get. So um, if you're interested in these, I have an Amazon affiliate link in the description if you want to support this channel. 
Um, otherwise, they're on Amazon and other websites as well. There's different kinds of 10440s. I've done some videos on a few different kinds on this channel if you want to look into them. Um, this is probably the, rep, the recommended one that I that I use frequently just because you can get these with an uh, included charger for a decent price on Amazon, like I said. But um, in any case, I hope this video gave you a good look at uh, the differences in output, help you make your own decision on these flashlights. But um, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, I like all of them. They're just all a little bit different as we've seen. So for any interesting stuff, let me know what you think. Uh, if you'd like to see anything else, please let me know. Thanks again to Tim for the video idea. And thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, if you have any other questions or video ideas, I'm all ears. Um, or all eyes, I should say, if you put them in the comments. But anyways, hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.